So it's been a while since I last made a 3D environment render in Blender, mostly because I was busy with school and other projects, uh, so it was really hard to get back into it. So I just started at the basics where I am um, reusing other people's assets, kit bashing, and making a really cool scene out of it with a, a kind of a story behind it. So that's what I did. I downloaded a uh, 3D scan of a abandoned building from Sketchfab and then just put it into Blender and add it in the environment and then just started trying to do some storytelling. This was about the fifth environment I tried to make to get back into the flow of it. Uh, so yeah, it took a little time to adjust from being away for such a long time in 3D environments. It's only been a couple of months. So anyways, I just uh, added in the environment, set up the camera and started working on the environment. I wanted to place a car in the parking lot, which was also a 3D scan, which I downloaded from uh, Polycam. If you go over to that website, you can go over to the Explore tab and they have a lot of free uh, 3D scans you can download there. So that's pretty cool. Then using the Polygonic add-on, I added in some uh, grass and some weeds and trees and things like that. And for the lighting, I just in the beginning used a very basic lighting setup that's default in Blender. And later I started uh, adjusting that. I thought I might want to change the colors of the building a little bit, but uh, that turned out to be not necessary or it just didn't look that good. So I did not end up doing that. One important thing with uh, 3D environments is um, the grass and how you build that up. If you just add one layer of grass with like two assets of grass, you're not going to get a good result. What you want to do is um, yeah, kind of layer things on top of each other. So I had some twigs, I had grass, I had a nice texture underneath and I had some weeds uh, growing out as well. And I just used the base color of the photo scan as the normal map. So to, to create some bump in the building. For performance, I set the viewport display of my particle systems to about 10 or 20%, just so I had the general idea, but in the render, you had a lot more of those assets. Then adding in the car I told you about, just finding a nice place for it. Uh, and it doesn't have to be perfect, like the road was underneath it, but it uh, worked out pretty well. You weren't able to see it anyway in the final render because of all the grass in front of it. Then adding in the trees. At first I thought I was going for some pine... Uh, some pine forest but after uh, kind of looking at the building and the sketchfab page I noticed it was a seaside building and I didn't really think uh, pine trees fit that like it gave me sort of like a LA uh, beach kind of vibe so I didn't think that would match so I changed it to uh, elder trees I think they were I'm not entirely sure which ones I picked the pine trees looked cool as well, but it just didn't fit with the building. So maybe if it had different colors or just a different style, it might have. But uh, for now, it didn't fit. After seeing a video by Coral Lab, I also decided to play with the exposure a little bit. Uh, not animating it like he did in the video, but just setting it to uh, minus one or minus 1.5. Uh, just to give that more of a uh, realistic vibe to it. I feel like sometimes my renders are a little bit bright, so playing with the exposure really helped with that. And as you can see here, the other trees just looked a lot better in combination with uh, the building. And this is almost the entire scene. 
Uh, one thing I had to change was the lighting. I was really focusing on the lighting with a, a lot of notes, but in the end, I just used the True Sky add-on, which basically did what I wanted, but with clouds and realistic uh, skies. So that was just a lot better. As you can see here, I didn't really think the sky matched with the lighting. So I ended up just choosing the true sky add-on. Adding in some more layers to the foreground with some um, small bushes and shrubs. Doing a lot of test renders because I was working with a viewport display level of 20%. So I just uh, rendered it at a lower resolution to kind of see where the grass would be. And here I changed to a true sky and just copied over all the settings that I used in the other sky texture. And it looked a lot better with uh, the clouds in the background. True sky add-on has a, an amazing set of uh, clouds so i recommend that add-on for skies or the physical starlit and atmosphere add-on as well So as you can see with the lighting here, I was changing a lot and really small amounts as well. And then I played with the exposure a whole lot, which was also really minor tweaks, but it uh, ended up adding a lot. Uh, also, some things I was struggling with was the uh, look transform of AGX, uh, which was set to punchy by default. It just looked a little bit like the highlights were blown out and the shadows were super dark. So I just set it to very low contrast and then changed everything in the compositing step. As you can see here, a low contrast look transform uh, just look more neutral and that gives you a lot more flexibility to work with in the compositing step. I also tried adding in another fan, uh, but I just couldn't find a place for it. So the lone car was uh, good enough for me. Adding in some bushes to the building as well to make it look more overgrown, but also scrap that idea. Uh, just a little bit at the bottom, but just minor things.
I also tried some compositing within Blender, uh, but I decided to just scrap that idea and do it entirely in uh, DaVinci Resolve because I'm more comfortable with that and I have a lot more uh, controls to work with. So yeah, it was a cool idea, but I didn't end up doing it. And that was the environment, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next environment. Goodbye.